I'm Erin DeMarco. I'm one of the clinical dietitians here at South Georgia Medical Center. I'm here today to tell you some good healthy eating back to school tips. So breakfast is always known as the most important meal of the day. This is because when a child gets breakfast in the morning, usually they stay more focused and they also have a tendency to eat less when it comes to lunchtime because they're not starving. I know if I miss breakfast, I'm usually starving by lunch. And also it's a great way to kickstart their day. There are some awesome really great options for breakfast. Um, you can do things like a toaster waffle with peanut butter, a bagel with peanut butter. They could even have an egg sandwich. They could have some whole grain cereal and some low fat milk. They could have fruit, they could have yogurt. Snacks are also really important because kids usually get real busy during the school. They've got after, after school activities. So it's really important to try to pack them some snacks for the day, especially if they're going straight to an activity after school. Some things you could pack is dried fruit and nuts. You could do um, some baked chips, some pretzels. You could do low fat cheese. You could have hummus and with either like baked chips or you could have some pita chips or even some fresh vegetables to dip in the hummus. You could have a box of raisins. Um, dried fruit and nuts is probably one of my favorites. If your child's going to be getting lunch at school each week, it's probably a good idea to sit down as a family or you and your child and just go through the lunch menus because then as, if they have an opinion, this usually helps them to follow with what a lot of things they want to do and usually it helps you guys can discuss what's a good option, what's maybe something better to pick and then let them circle what they want to choose because then they're going to be more willing to choose that option because they've had the, their opinions and their opinion, they feel like their opinion can count. It's also important if you are packing your lunch for your child, have them included. Ask them what do they want to have in their lunch. Um, ask them, you know, what are their foods that they want to try, you know, give them different options that they could have if they have something that would maybe be, if they're wanting like fried nuggets with their, with their meal, maybe op offer them some grilled nuggets or get them a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, turkey sandwiches are always good or, or um, chicken sandwiches. You can always um, ask them what type of fruit they like or vegetables and sometimes the easiest way to get a child to eat an apple is maybe to cut it up, put it in baggies, make things convenient and easy for them to grab, especially if maybe they're busy during the day and they don't always get a full lunch because maybe they're doing projects. So we all like something sweet. I know I always enjoy something sweet once in a while. So it is okay to actually include something sweet into your child's lunch, but just make sure it's a small portion because you don't want to give them something that's a big portion because we also want to teach portion control. So you could give them a small piece of chocolate. You could give them, if they have a favorite dessert, like a um, maybe a brownie, you could give them just a small piece of a brownie. You could give them one or two cookies. Um, you can even get the individual packing sizes of like the 100 calorie snack packs or just package your own into sandwich bags of either cookies or a sweet treat just to give them something a little extra. But if they like fruit, that's always a good option as a sweet treat also. It's also really important for kids to eat healthy, they need to see our parents eat healthy too. Parents are the examples that kids are going to follow, so if, our, if parents aren't eating healthy, then the kids aren't going to want to eat healthy either. So really it starts at home, so as long as the family and everybody is participating and eating well, then the kids are going to follow suit and then they're going to be eating healthy as they get older as well.